idea. The idea you already had. When you realized you... Having the idea in your subconscious is the 12th house, your Piscean energy. Realizing you have the idea and being inspired by it. Like witnessing something usually leads to inspiration, no? Pisces the witness, 12th house you witnessing things. Watching a movie and seeing something, observing something and then being inspired by it, literally it's translating 12th house into the first. Actualization, inspiration comes from observing something. 12th house energy is observing something. The inspiration and the idea is the first house. If we're talking about creative processes, right? Yes. Okay. Why Libra Taurus? Because Venus is about creativity and artistic expression. And it rules both of those signs. Yeah, Libra is just notoriously creative and Taurus loves to create things in material ways. Taurus rules music, art, yeah, Venus rules everything art. That's not, that's how Pisces relate to Aries. Mm -hmm. You can do that with all 12 zodiac signs in semi-sex signs. One always is the evolution of the other. Gemini is the evolution of Taurus. Cancer is the evolution of Gemini. Leo is the evolution of Cancer. Etc, etc, etc. Pisces is the evolution of Aquarius. We can, we can do that with all of the ones that are just next to each other because it's a big it's a cycle so each one is just the next step in the cycle of evolution and the cycle repeats itself it's a giant clock in the sky you guys libra is the evolution of virgo precisely everything comes full circle mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a circle of life How do you know when you're tapped into your Saturn energy? What do you look for? Um, <laughs> that's a really interesting question. How do you, how do you know when you're tapped into your Saturn energy? Well, really, Saturn energy is being aware of the difficulty of something. You're, you can't be tapped into your Saturn energy, I don't think, without being overwhelmed, without feeling doubt at first. That's, that's the first step of Saturn energy. Saturn energy comes from a lot of angles. Like, how do I, I, it's like not something I can tell you that you feel in your body. It's more something. Saturn's like... The feeling of as a Saturnian person, heavily, heavily Saturnian person, um, Saturn feels like dead weight. Saturn energy feels like you're dragging a boulder behind you, but you're not gonna stop walking, no matter what. Saturn is the energy of no matter what. I will get there. It takes my entire life. If I have to grind off my own feet, if I have to cut off my own arm, if I have to struggle with a chronic illness the whole way there, I will. Saturn is the determination against all odds. It's Saturn is the inevitable, right? You know, our, our good friend Caress here said this earlier. She said, you are inevitable. Realizing that in the face of your difficulty, in the face of your problems, having that I am inevitable energy at your problems is Saturnian energy. It's discipline. It's, I don't, it's the detachment from feeling. It's the detachment from your past because of your goal. Because your goal becomes more important than anything else. 
and what drives you to the goal doesn't matter. It could be spite, it could be that doing the journey brings you joy, it could be because, you know, you can't stop. Like, because you get to talk the whole way, I don't know what it is, I don't know what the drive is to the goal, but whatever it is, it's like, the goal is how, is the why. The goal is because, the goal is because I, like, whatever, whatever reason your goal is, is yours, right? You need a reason, okay? But that reason has to be, has to give you the energy of no matter what. You won't stop me. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how hard it is. I don't care how impossible it seems. I don't care how much you doubt me. I will. That's tapping into Saturnian energy. If you need to write your motivations down every single day to maintain it, and also Saturn energy, remember, is cyclical. Saturn energy is serious, it's disciplined, it's authoritative, it's respectful. Okay? It is so resilient. It's th something that stands the test of time. So check your motivations. If you want to tap into your Saturnian energy, you need to check your motivations because if you don't have the right ones, it won't last. The drive won't last. You'll get distracted. As somebody with Saturn in my first house, in a Saturn rulership sign, as a Capricorn rising, with my sun and moon in the signs exalted, that Saturn's exalted in, it is about no matter what. I am inevitable. You cannot stop me. Mm. Saturn is the diamond under pressure. Saturn is... Yeah. The diamond made under pressure. The diamonds doesn't happen without immense heat and force applied to it. So when you're feeling the pressure, that's how you know you're in your Saturnian energy. And reaping the rewards afterwards is the destination. It is the diamond you are working for. And it's the thing that says that was, that was worth the hard work. Why so serious? I mean, Saturn, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs>